Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five and Eats, and today we've got a little sweet treat for you. We picked this up at Meyer in the frozen dessert section. This is the Sanders Small Batch Wonders from Sanders Kitchen to your table, chocolate fudge bumpy cake. <laughs> this is devil's food cake with buttercream bumps and fudge icing. The original bumpy cake. Now I have never in my life heard of a bumpy cake before. I've never either. But I mean, apparently there's others and this is the original, I don't know. So this company is out of Michigan. Yeah, Clinton Township. Now this says Sanders chocolate fudge bumpy cake features rich devil's food cake that's topped with buttercream bumps and draped in delicious fudge icing. Huh, they craft old world recipes into modern delights. This is a 19 ounce frozen cake that you defrost and it is $8.99. And I gotta say, I love the amount of icing that's in these bumps. Um, for me, I'm not a big icing fan, so I'm not too excited. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review our Dick Roche items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Just looking at it, though, it looks right up your alley. Well, you know what? I don't always love a chocolate cake, but I do feel like the amount of icing She on loves here. all the weird stuff. If it looks weird, she's gonna love it. Well, you know what? I walked by this and I saw it down on the bottom shelf of the freezer at Meyer, and I thought, that doesn't sound that great. I should get that <laughs> because it just seemed weird enough that it might work. Now, what I do love is the amount of icing on here. I like that the cake part is not too thick. And now this piece that we have here represents one quarter of it. So it's like so, an eight by eight kind of tray. So that's a good piece right there then. Yeah, the, you know, it's, it's a share it's an, size. It's a good portion, I mean. Yeah, exactly. And we've got two little bumps here, one for you and one for me. Let's go for it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. Very surprised here because I thought this was going to be a thumbs down. It didn't look too exciting, but they did actually a good job. It almost tastes like uh, a freshly made cake. I like the frosting going into it. I was concerned that, that it might be too much, but it wasn't too sweet. There wasn't too much of it. It was actually the star of this cake. Because one thing I did not love is the bottom half. Um, I think it was too thick. And I tried it on its own and it wasn't that great. Now, here's the thing. If you can't afford this, cause this is $8.99, what I would say this tastes like is uh, Hostess Suzy Q, I think it is. Mm. Is that what those things are? Maybe not, I think it's the, the Ding Dong, is that what that? The, the roll? No, yeah, the roll. Oh, like a Swiss roll? So, yeah. Oh, okay, like yeah. a Ho-Ho or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's what this tasted like, but like a, like a you know, um, I guess, they say it makes, they make this in small batches or something like that. Is that what they say? Yeah, yeah. So it's like a, you know, freshly made one that they freeze or whatever. So I think that's what it tastes like. Um, you definitely want the frosting because I think, in my opinion, the bottom half, the, the cake is all right. But the frosting is really, really good here. It is the star. Amazing. Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty. <clears throat> so for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. Really? Wow, okay. Yeah. Look, it's edible. It's, you know, okay. I would not pay $9 again for it though. I wouldn't even pay $5. I would just wouldn't buy it again because I don't feel like there is anything special about this. And eating it, number one thing, I felt like the cake part of it was dry. Like it did not taste or have the texture of a moist cake. I think the problem was it's too thick. There's too much of it. You know, but regardless, however thick that cake is, it should be moist, okay. you know? Yeah. And I don't feel like it is, as evidenced by all these little tiny crumbles here because they're just, it's crumbling apart as you're putting your fork through it. Now, didn't love that. I think that the icing was standard. It was, I mean, it was good. Like it was on par with like a tub of yeah. icing from like Pillsbury or Duncan Hines. It didn't taste like a, like a super 
nice homemade icing. It was a commercial icing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. The Sanders family is not going to be happy with you. They're hey, going to leave you know some what? hate probably on this video then. Go right ahead. Hey. Go right ahead. Because they, you know, they, they make it in small batches. So. So they say. And you know what? You know what who is else a small eat? batch, right? Yeah, it's got to well, be like yeah. it's got to be like 500 <laughs> in a day. You know what? Our dogs also make things in small batches, and those aren't great either, though. You know. Wow! So, oh wow! They leave little bumps all over too. So, you know, not everything that is in small batches is great. But here's what I'll say: I think if you were to present me with this blindfolded and get one for probably half the price from buying a boxed mix and two tubs of icing from you know the store and make this exact thing. I think that the one that you make yourself at home with the, the boxed and packaged icing is gonna taste better because at least the cake could be moist. The cake not being moist really freaking killed this. But also I feel like if you're saying that that you know this is good but that it's comparable to like a swiss roll yeah how good can it be if it's comparable to like a dollar snack cake you know and i love a swiss roll but honestly i think a swiss roll is better than this because at least the cake isn't super dry to sum it up thumbs down thumbs up and if you guys buy from amazon use our amazon link the reason is when you do that we get 10 cents 50 cents possibly even a dollar which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.